Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your quick Sunday weather update as we go into the last days of August and early into September and look ahead into the Labor Day holiday weekend, which is coming up next weekend, but by the way, time flies, looking at the possibility of some very warm weather across much of the Mid-South as we get into the course of the next few days and also the possibility of some thunderstorms here and there. So not really too much changing at this point in time. Going to be seeing the potential of for some more activity, of course, uh, throughout the rest of the area. A bit of a dwindling in that chance of rainfall by about week's end. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Pretty hot one in the Mid-South today, but not totally blazing out there for record high temperatures. Decent amount of sunshine, a very nice amount of sunset as well. This view from our tower cam on the News Channel 3 studio parking lot, looking back across into eastern Arkansas. There's some beautiful weather out that direction from the weather bug system, from the weather underground camera at the Rhodes College site on the Physics Building. Looking back towards sunset for this evening and temperatures reaching the mid to upper 90s into parts of central Memphis as well. Close up on the sun tonight from the Champion Windows Cam at I-40 and Witten Road. And a gorgeous amount of sunshine out there for today. Just wish it could have been just a little bit cooler for parts of the area. Mid to upper 90s for high temperatures today. 98, not exactly a record high, but definitely nowhere near a cool for the last weekend of August 26. 16. How hot was it by comparison? Well, could always be worse. High temperature for the country today, 113 degrees, which was set in Death Valley, California. Rainfall over the course of the day today, nothing to report at the official recording station of Memphis International Airport. That's two days without rainfall, but we've managed to pick up a surplus of about two to three inches plus for the entire month and for the year, well over a foot of rainfall. So doing pretty nicely on the rain situation at this time. Likewise, wildfire danger is very low thanks to all the vegetation being very well set for rainfall fairly soon across the area. Fog tomorrow morning could be some visibilities down near around two miles according to the forecast showing again the potential for some areas of patchy fog but not expecting too much of any concern out there. For the morning hours could be a stray shower in the morning for the kids heading out to the school bus stop, but otherwise nothing really major taking place. It's going to warm up pretty rapidly, though, after the first bell rings, lunchtime for the kids, recess, if there's something like that going on out there, lower 90s by dismissal time, hot and humid, and could be some mad dashes to the car rider line from the school with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms here and there, but not doing too bad. Low temperatures tonight back into the lower to mid-70s. That's about as cool as it gets for parts of the area. The metro will probably not go too much further beyond the mid to upper 70s for low temperatures, so not exactly doing good for the cooler temperatures out there. And another hot one for Memphis into tomorrow and the rest of the Mid-South with stray chances of showers and thunderstorms. Not a widespread chance, but still possible, so keep that in mind for outdoor plans out there. The rest of the next 7 to 10 days, not much change. A very stagnant pattern shaping up. Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms through basically the rest of the week, but by Thursday into Friday, heading out of August and into September, we may see a reduction in the chance of rainfall. So into the holiday weekend, at least less chances of rain and thunder there, which should be some pretty good weather for Friday night football if everything hangs in place for right now. And by Labor Day, the holiday coming up next Monday, we may see the potential of some more showers and thunderstorms. That forecast could change easily enough in the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on that. Hurricane Gaston out into the Atlantic it is a Category 3 storm. It's a major storm right now with winds of 115 miles an hour, but it's heading away from land and not expected to be too much of a problem out there. Tropical Depression number 8 could be a problem for the outer banks of the Carolinas and back up around Chesapeake Bay. This is going to be something to watch out for as this storm system gets a little bit closer as a tropical storm. Could be Her Her Tropical Storm Ermine, the H name storm, the H being silent. We'll see what the National Hurricane Center does about that. It's this one that we're going to be watching with a lot of interest to see what goes on. Tropical Depression number 9 is entering the Gulf of Mexico tonight and into early tomorrow. And it looks like it's going to be curving back toward the north and east, eventually toward Florida. Now, if it goes farther west, it doesn't look too likely right now. But unfortunately, if you take a look at what are called the quote-unquote spaghetti models, 
This is something that, again, the it's an ensemble of different forecasts showing what the computer models think is going to happen. And as you can see here, by the end of the week, they are not all in agreement as to what's going on. Earlier, reaching the Gulf of Mexico and going just past Florida over toward just north of the Yucatan Peninsula. And then after that, looks like it could be heading west north or northeast depending on what goes on so if you're heading down to the gulf of mexico keep it tuned to news channel three and definitely do not ignore this storm got to pay attention to this type of weather as we go throughout the rest of the hurricane season and we are approaching the peak of hurricane season in the next few weeks that's around september the 10th or so don't forget about my forecast it will be available on am 730 yahoo sports radio am 730 memphis in the morning and talk back live with bob and josh sports chat on the radio early on on Monday through Friday morning and get the forecast there. And also don't forget about my social media network pages. They're available if you have anything you'd like to send along in the way of weather pictures or questions or concerns. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and many others out there as well. And, of course, News Channel 3's Todd Demers will be on the air with News Channel 3 Daybreak starting bright and early at 4.30 in the morning. Right now, and again, it does not look like a major concern for the Mid-South with the way the hurricane and tropical storm situation is setting up, but we will be watching very carefully to see what goes on in the Mid-South or what comes close to the Mid-South, especially over the next couple of days. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on that. And of course, Todd Demers has your forecast, as I said, coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. I'm meteorologist Austin Audick from the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis. We'll have another forecast for you coming up in just a bit on News Channel 3 at 10. Missing that, stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3's Todd Demers bright and early on Monday morning on Daybreak. Thanks for joining me for this quick weather update on Sunday night.